All right, Mike here, Big Heart Adventures and Heart Hunts. In this video, I just want to go over and re-go over, I guess, the options for your weapon with heart. Now, some people like archery, some people like rifles, some people like shotguns, and muzzle loaders and whatnot, and we all have our favorite gun that we enjoy carrying. So, let's go through a few examples what you can use and how you can use them in conjunction with your camera systems. So let's start with this one here, this heart archery. Now, in the previous video we've done, we've identified the shot cam as right now the camera of choice for heart archery. Now with heart archery, a basic recurve, and I like to take down recurve because you can pack it away. What you need is the bow. You've got a mount, which shot cam makes a mount, and I've just fashioned one with the Tacticam um, stabilizer mount, and then mount the shot cam camera on there. I've got a one pin sight, a basic sight, a $10 sight, and then I've got this mount here. Now this mount consists of an archery mount for Picatinny rail, and then I've added um, a Midwest Orion phone mount, which would go on the Picatinny rail on a pistol, but I've mounted it here on the bow. So what you can do is get an old cell phone, right? Got an old cell phone that you're not using. You can download the ShotCam app on it or the Tacticam app if you're using a Tacticam with archery and Velcro it up here and you can actually see where your reticle's at in relation to your sight pin. And you don't have to keep it on there. It's a good way to sight in this bow um, to the camera system or you can keep it up there and use it as your sight actually. Um, not a bad way of going about it. But I like to have, have the regular sight, use this to sight in my bow with my old um, phone and using the uh, shot cam app. And what you've got is kind of a lightweight system. 40 pound draw, that's pretty much all you want. You can go less than that actually, would probably be even better. All you need is that snap that uh, will come through on your shot cam or your tactic cam to let you know where the shot would have been in relationship or in relation to the uh, reticle. So I've got my heart string, which I've just made. Again, there's um, different archery training tools out there that are similar to this that you can buy, but I just fashioned this and you can watch the video on our YouTube channel on how to make one of these out of uh, some inexpensive material that you can find at your local hardware store or Walmart. So when you clip that on to this D-ring I fashion, and it's easier when you have a whole thumb instead of half a thumb, but so now you've got your heart string and you're ready to take the heart shot. So when you're ready to take the heart shot, pull back, and now your camera should be on and let it go. Catches the string, makes the sound, and it shows up really good on the shot cam. And you can review that footage and see if you got it. I mean, it's, it's, it's just a super simple setup. And I like, what I like about it is it's pretty quiet. So if you're out full harvest hunting with your buddies, and you want to just hard hunt and you see a deer or you see an elk, I guarantee you that thing might even not know you're there if it's a windy day, right? And I really like that. Um, plus I love, uh, I love the season, archery season. The, it's uh, crisp and cool, but it's not cold and you have some warm days and it's fall and and you might catch something in velvet, you might catch something in the rut. Um, just a great time to be out. And again, just to 
if you got this tank down, you know it packs up to about like that. You take it anywhere, you keep your um, shot cam mounted to the mount there, just screw it back in. It only takes a few seconds to make sure your sights aligned with the shot cam. And uh, hard archery, gonna be doing a lot more of that this year. Didn't do a, a whole lot of it um, this year because we were trying out the system and we, we mainly focused on what I'm gonna talk about next is just the rifle. Um, but we're gonna do a lot more hard archery this year for sure. Um, really a fan, really a fan of full harvest archery. And so getting back into it and, uh, and heart and hunt with the, the bow is something I'm excited about and hopefully you guys will be too. Next one is the rifle system. Everybody's got a rifle and everybody has kind of access to get a rifle. If you want one, pawn shops, Walmart, gun shops, you can get an inexpensive rifle. This here's an expensive Remington 700 youth model, compact in 243. Um, so you can be using the FTS system with it, or you can just use a mount that goes underneath it, filming your hunt with the red dot. Again, you can't line it up, but that's okay. But with the rifle, again, we've talked about the ATN scope. I think that's the probably the ticket for that. But fairly straightforward, put it in a blank and, and uh, you've got your ability to film through various camera systems that we've talked about. And if you're ready to full harvest or you're wanting to full harvest, make sure your gun's sighted in and you can go, go ahead and do it. Uh, so, I mean, that's, that's the one in all the videos from last year that you see. We've used, you know, different guns, but basically the same kind of setup throughout. Um, again, always have pretty, pretty easy access to go ahead and, and get a rifle. And when you're using the rifle that you might full harvest with, you become familiar with that rifle in a safe, safe manner. So, heart rifle. The next one, let's go jump over here, is the muzzle loader. I did a little bit with it. I want to do a lot more with it this year also because it's just, it's kind of fun. Uh, I like open sights. I like handling this thing and carrying it around um, through the woods. Yeah, I, muzzle loader, right? So with that, you know, you have the, the shot cam that you can mount here, adjust your reticle and align it to your open sights and you're ready to go. Now, two different ways you can go about it. You can put the cap in here and just use that as your release, or you can load it with reenactment powder and a cap and get some smoke coming out and a little bit bigger bang, which is pretty neat. Um, got a video, short video out there of us test firing this off with the shot cam and it worked pretty, Pretty good, so I wanna do this more. These two here I wanna do more of. We'll be um, definitely using the rifle on some, but I think you're gonna see a lot, a lot of the videos and a lot of the hunts this year, we're gonna be using these primitive weapons because, listen, we're, we're 30 yards on this deal or less, and I, and I kinda like to be 30 yards, between 30 and 50 yards. Um, and we wanna have something that's uh, fun to handle and you know fun to shoot so well they all are but it's these two weapons here are, are kind of neat in their specs that you can um, have that feel of the primitive weapon and um, if you want to go full harvest you can still load it up you can still practice with this bow with uh, arrows and and you should be you should be shooting this thing at targets you should be shooting this thing at targets because it's just fun too it's a good pastime to do and uh, same with all these weapons, get out to the range and shoot them and with live rounds and get used to them. Um, Cause hard again is in addition to and, and not instead of. So this this op next option is, is one that I think will fit with hard hunts, which I will tell you more about in the upcoming videos. But let's say you're a, a landowner and you want to allow hard hunting on your place 
Um, it'd be good to have this Bruni um, blank gun if you want the confidence that nobody's you know going to go out and slip a live round in and and full harvest a, an animal on your property. Um, and it just might make you feel better to know that it's just a blank gun that they, they've got out there. And we've tried this and I like it. Um, it's just, it's a fun net handle around. You can put the taxi cam on it like I've got here with the, the uh, under barrel mount, or you could put the shot cam on. Again, the shot cam's pretty nice for being able to adjust that reticle with your open sights. I don't, what I don't like about this is the sights are pretty cheesy. Um, but all in all, um, pretty, pretty cool option to just have a blank gun and be able to record your hot shot on one of your camera systems. So again, I think that's maybe a landowner would enjoy having that for peace of mind um, to be able to rent out. But I mean, all these options, you're able to heart the hunt in the way that you want to experience that hunt. Um, last but not least here, not here, but a shotgun, of course, we've had pheasant, uh, a couple of pheasant videos now, upland bird videos that show how you use blanks with the uh, shotgun, ducks, geese, upland birds. Um, it just flat works. Shot cam system, we can get to work a little bit better. I think it's gonna be great. Um, it does have a, a circle reticle that I forgot about on that last pheasant hunt. And that, I mean, that would tell you kind of where your pattern's gonna be and, and how you're leading it. And then it, that, that puff of uh, powder or whatever's in those blanks shows up on that. And you'll be able to see where you're at with that. So um, the shotgun, another great, another great system to use. And that gives you what, four, four here and then the shotgun five. Five good options for for heart hunting. It's all in what you what you like. Um, as far as the guns and the bows, you don't need expensive anything. Uh, I think the Bruni's a two hundred dollar investment. I think you can find these um, muzzle loaders out there uh, with kits and stuff at various price ranges that go from affordable to you know kind of luxurious. And if you want to build them or get them had them already built. That's what's nice about these. You got so many options um, for what you want to carry around. And then the rifles, again, from pawn shops to box stores, you can find anything you want. You don't have to have a, even have a rifle that's it's got a, it could have a smooth barrel on it from something being shot out. You can uh, bring that thing back to life. You can have dings and dents on the stock and, and whatnot. You just don't need a pretty rifle. It's, uh, it's part of the, you know, pick the one you like, one you're proud to carry around, and the one that you uh, um, can hard to hunt with. And then the bows are the same. They get various price points. I really would say stick to the traditional. I, I'm not sure that this heart string, that you can turn down that uh, compound bow low enough to be kind of safe with it. So I'd stick with the, these uh, recurves or long bows in that say 35 to 50 pound range and you should be good. So there it is. I mean, those are the weapons that you can use. I highly encourage you, whatever you choose to, to shoot them with arrows, live rounds, the targets and stuff and get yourself familiarized with, with those weapons and you'll be ready to full harvest if you want. But um, hey, till the next video, take care of your neighbor, heart the hunt.